We are ready to roll from the lacrosse stadium at Ohio State. And the opening faceoff won by the Buckeyes, but turn right back to Penn State. Big faceoff win there by Tommy Burke in state. And here we go. An opening possession of the game. This is Malone up top. Trainer and Brenfleck on the wings. It's Trainer who whips a shot and saved by Fayok. What a save by Fayok. Shot clock stops at five, and Penn State has to go quick here. Go ahead, Chris! Go ahead! Go, Chris! Go! Five seconds. Chris Jordan. Quick centering pass. Oh, nearly a behind the back goal for Malone, but a stand for Ohio State. team in the country outside of Army, who just lost their first game this weekend to Boston. And this is where Ohio State likes to dominate. Get the mismatches, shorty on shorty. Coming across the crease, and he scores! It was near the crease. And the refs do call it off. In the crease, no goal, Nittany line ball. That was Jack McKenna diving in, and we'll get another look. Does take a dive, it was not pushed. I think that Ethan Long, shot clock winding down. It's at 10. Costin circling, shooting, saved by Fayok. A ground ball scooped up nearly by Ohio State, back towards the midfield line, and the shot clock has expired. The sideline of Ohio State erupting as the Buckeyes get the ball back. Here's a little replay. Big save by Fayok there with the foot. Um. Top 10 of the country, Penn State, in goals allowed average, led by Frasion in the pipes. Again, one of the best goalies in the country, but Fayok quickly making a name for himself in the pipes for Ohio State, the freshman. Costin, fastball, bouncer, and it's in. Penn State strikes first. Matt Costin with a traditional fundamental play here. Overhand bouncer to Big Tasty's offside. One of the hardest shots in lacrosse to save, obviously. Physical play here scooped up by Penn State. Centering pass, Malone, Fayok the save. Greg Langemeyer on the transfer here. The fast break for goals this year for the Buckeyes at 15. Here he is, Marnier takes another shot. Frasion vacuums it up. We talked about it in the beginning of the broadcast, but these types of situations as of last year, what's their focus in this situation? Coach Myers, without a doubt, does not take this opportunity lightly. The man up opportunity for, for any Division I lacrosse program is big. Um, and obviously in the Big Ten play, you don't get much of it. But Marnier with the shot, and he scores. Upstairs, right past Frasion, and we're tied. Alex Barnier coming from Canada, comes in as a pull. Coach Myers makes him an offensive threat this year and now leads the Buckeyes in goals with 16. Um, a freshman that has continued to kill it. Malone misses the shot, still scoreless, and took the contact as well. Look at this in transition here. A little behind the back on top of the defense. Losing to Duke by one in overtime in controversial fashion, like we mentioned. Trying to get back to Lincoln Financial this year in championship weekend. I think a big miss for the Penn State New Lions right now is, is Captain Jack Posey. Tore his ACL in that, in that quarterfinal game. Straight there. What a feed to the far post there, and Sheen the delivery. Mitchell, that was a quick hitter. Ed Sheen leading Buckeyes in points this year. That marks his 10th goal. Inside pass, keeping it low on the dunk. Ed Sheen, we'll try to see, we'll try to switch up the matchups here. McKenna might go out, set a pick, set a slip pick. Um, but this is what the Buckeyes are all about, is switching matchups in the corners and, and ultimately below the cage. And they're running it down here. 
the quarter clock is at 27 seconds. The shot clock at 20. Meyer shoots and scores. Matches Marnier with his 16th goal of the season. And the Buckeyes take a commanding 3-1 lead. Meyer has a great poise in that quarter. Obviously, he's watching the shot clock and the game clock. Does a little left to right split. Doesn't see the slide coming, so likes to take a top shelf and score right over off stick side of Frassion. Like I Looking for a bounce back here. Last year didn't go the team's way as there's a shot wide. Flip side to the field here. Five straight losses to end the season, but they've embraced the underdog mentality this year. Definitely. I think, you know, with, with the season we had last year is obviously not Ohio State's um, top priority. I think coming into this year, they definitely want to prove people wrong. Uh, Coach Myers dipping into the transfer portal very heavy in the last year. Um, and obviously with some freshmen stepping up, it's a, it's a very new team. Matthews driving and scoring. Four unanswered for Ohio State. Gannon Matthews, a big name transfer out of Cleveland State. Um, we all knew about him. We played Cleveland State every year. Uh, but coming down here, look at the way he tucks his stick behind his shoulder and dips his head low but shoots it high. That's a big one uh, for a lot of lacrosse players out there. Coming to this program for the first year, but he's been fantastic leading the team in shots this year as Fayot comes up with another save. Meyer spins, shoots, saved by Frassi on ball still loose, and finally gobbled up. Frassi on with a nice save. Again, the goalie play in this game is going to be very big. Um, with, with, with Fioc and Frassi on continuing to light it up this game, that's where their game is going to be away from them. Um, and the last year to really dip in and, and, and take an opportunity of a guy that wants to take his fifth year at a different school. Um, so obviously worked out for the Buckeyes. And Marcus Hudgens with the takeaway check at midfield coming down as a fast break opportunity. Throws it to Ed Sheen. Here's Ed Sheen with the shot. And he scores. Hutchins starting the break, and Shane finishes again with his second goal of the day. Ed Sheen, nickname on the team, Steady Eddie. Just with the way he puts the ball in the back of the net, his stats for this year, 11th goal on the year, and that's out of 37 shots. Marcus Hudgens with the takeaway at the top of the net. And Steady Eddie putting the ball in the back of the net. Just, just what number 10 does for the ball. Coming in with losses to top 10 teams, all four of their losses to top 10 teams, a couple of them pretty handily. Five and four in the season, Penn State rolling. That is totally flipped here in the first half. Caputo, Marnier scores again! The Buckeyes are buzzing. The Buckeyes are buzzing here in Columbus. The bench is going crazy, almost halfway on the field. Alex Marnier, as mentioned, came in from Canada as a long stick midi. Coach Myers made the switch this year to Shorty. A great pass from Caputo. And just the way Alex Marnier is loaded in his position, getting the ball on the offensive side, not putting the ball in the back of the net. Ohio State has dominated the faceoff dot today, a big part of their success. Penn State has been under 50% this year. 58% for the Buckeyes this season. And Penn State answers. A much needed goal coming from Luke Mercer, one of their most athletic players. Mentioned Matt Costin shot earlier, fundamentals. And by Luke, this is a fundamental right-handed overhand shot to the low left corner, sweeping fundamental up and over and he snipes the left hand corner and big tasty hawk cannot get there um, coach for penn state did mention the athleticism of ohio state and how they use that to get themselves in great situations they've been able to capitalize so far today but penn state answers now down six to two with under seven to go in the first half mercer just had the last goal malone still scoreless for penn state Working left, Malone is being hounded. He shoots and bounces it home. T.J. Malone's first goal, and two unanswered for the Nittany Lions. 
Penn State bench matching that energy. And an awesome pick play, again, the fundamentals that, that head coach, Coach Tambroni, brings to the Penn State uh, offense is important. I think with the pick play here, Johnny Cool doesn't have the right footing, falls, makes a play. You know, TJ Malone likes to hitch that and then obviously comes across on Marcus Hudgens and puts that over the top, continuing to kill, leading points for Penn State. And it's exciting to watch him play it, you know, from the fundamentals to the risk he takes. You know, he's definitely leading this team, and, and that's why he's obviously chosen captain by his peers. Captain, reigning Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year and All-American, trying to lead Penn State back. And they've scored three unanswered, just near the crease, Wallstrom diving down. Wallstrom with a little shake and bake on Greg Langemeyer. Maybe a little messy top 10 with the ankle breaker, um, but this is where you know, a, a player like Luke Wallstrom likes to go at X against a shorty. Taking it, faking left and going right and wrapping around. It's hard for a goalie like Big Tasty to see that shot because he's already. And 30 to shoot for the Nittany Lions. Plenty of time here to scan. Malone gets past Fisher. Here's a shot. It was blocked down. Now that's a stat we'll definitely see. In the film room for the Buckeyes on Monday, you'll definitely see Cullen Brown diving and trying to block the shot. That's, that will, that's what they call a Buckeye play. A fearless play. Over to Malone. Dodging inside, tries to go low, but it's scooped up. And Ohio State taking its time. Matthews rolls back out to the wing. Caputo. Dodges inside, right in front, and another Ohio State goal. Back to a three-goal lead. That is quick Division I lacrosse right there, folks. Matt Caputo from Long Island, fellow Italian, bringing the shakes to Columbus. Coming down the alley and finding short stick D midi Blake Island on the crease. Putting it home. Came on the scene as a short stick D. Ohio State, then three unanswered for Penn State. But Ohio State and Blake Island reclaim a three goal lead with the latest score. Going low, Sheen and Frassion anticipated. Frassion's there. And Sheen again, steady Eddie with the shot. But for the second in Columbus. Six game win streak for Penn State, Ohio State, five and four this year, looking for a bounce back season. After losing five straight to close out last year, they've started with some thunder here at home, up seven to four. Behind goal, it's Peden. Peden's got him hung up. Snyder inside. That's off the crossbar up top. It was a beautiful look for Penn State. And Fayok intercepts. As a freshman making that stop that Fayok just did, uh, just shows why he's in net and has the starter. You know, a veteran guy. Um, that was trying to clear it there, but you know, TJ Malone right there and Matt Trainer with the goal. Finishes it off for Penn State. A strong way to start the third quarter for the Nittany Lions. Just a simple mistake there from Big Tasty. You know, maybe not throwing the pass as long as he wanted it to, and TJ Malone just being the veteran fifth year that he is. And making the quick move, the ball moves faster than your feet, passing it to Matt Trainer and him putting it in the back of the net. Yeah, it's great a great wide matchup. receiver at IMG. He is quick, isn't he? Definitely. Off the spin, McKenna. Right to the back pipe. Caputo unable to snare it. He finally does off the ground. Forward to shoot here. Caputo serpents around the crease, and the bounce is wide. Didn't have the angle, and Penn State now in the clear. And the pass scooped up by Wallstrom. Shot clock to 10. What a spin there. Lehman, saved by Fayok. Bounces out to Trainer, And Wallstrom has it. And a shot clock reset for Penn State. Shot clock resets are going to be big in this game. This is an opportunity for Penn State to settle after those hectic 10 to 20 seconds um, and obviously come down here as they are now with Lehman. Spinning, Trainer, poor angle, doesn't matter. From the wing, Trainer delivers his second goal of the quarter. An 
absolute rocket from Matt Trainer. Again, fundamentals, the low to high, top left, stinks the corner here in Columbus. Hudgens over guesses, low to high, big take attack in all Division I lacrosse. It's a little bit surprising. Uh, we've seen a comeback here in the second half from Penn State as they're wiring down the clock to get the last shot here in the third quarter. It's 24 in the shot clock, 31 game clock, about a seven second difference. As Malone spins, still stuck on one goal. Costin, nine on the shot clock. Costin hesitates, darts in front of the crease, and goes low to tie the game. Matt Costin, a shifty. I think the biggest part about this goal was the hesitation. The hesitation was he. See the hesitation? Langemeyer has to stop his feet, brings it back to the right, and a low shot on Big Tasty. Excited to see what happens in this last quarter here in Columbus. Um, it's been very interesting to see, and, and obviously doing a deep dive. I'm in the documentary style um, on YouTube. From a Buckeye, Mitchell Pelkey with us today. I'm Jack Kaiser. And the shot just wide from Costin. Costin had the game tire late in the third. Malone scores for Penn State. Just his second. It's been a bit quiet for TJ Malone, but a loud goal to start the fourth. Just another textbook goal from TJ Malone. Takes a little pop step, back of his foot, catches it lefty, with that right step, he's going up and over and again to that lower right corner uh, where Fiox not there and the ball goes into the back of the net. But I think it's just fundamentals from the veteran with the pop step, big freshman on Penn State, having a pivotal role within this year, a guy we will definitely be hearing about in years to come. This Penn State program so good at development, a lot of contact there as Morin goes down. Malone's stick is loose, flag came flying. And it's a clear hold on Ohio State. A clear hold by Greg Langemeyer. Coming around the crease. Um, and that is just a little too long, I would say. And obviously the flag is down. Um, Langemeyer flick board and tie this as we're halfway through the fourth quarter. Yeah, already halfway through the fourth. Seven minutes to go in our Big Ten opener here in Columbus. It was a one goal victory for Michigan at home over Maryland yesterday. It's been a fun start to conference play. Greenblatt dodging. McVicker on him. Greenblatt goes low. Frassion the save. Great save by Frassion. Up the foot of Frassion. This was the last shot. Didn't touch Frassion's stick at all. Just goes off the far post. Rocket for Matthews. Some movement here for the Buckeyes. Sheen turns and scores! Matching his career high of three goals. We're tied at eight. Steady Eddie. Gave him that nickname a couple years ago. He comes in clutch for the Buckeyes with the eight to eight. Comes up the left side. Predominantly a right-handed player, comes up the left side and does what we call a question mark here in lacrosse. Comes up the left, question marks to his right, jump shot, textbook. Hey, two career games against the Nittany Lions, zero goals, one assist. His third goal today against Penn State, and we're tied again. I remember Ed as a young freshman, um, and as an upperclassman myself at the time, you could definitely tell he was a big player on the drive and Penn State reclaims the lead. That was Jake Morin going right to the rack. Jake Morin there saw an opportunity out of the box. Maybe Ohio State wasn't as set up yet. You know, kind of do it as a little dip up and under here, keeping it in that right-handed stick and then coming across the top, sees the opening and puts it low. Um, a key one here to put the Penn State Costin. 
Here's Long circling. Malone straight away. Costin shoots and scores again. And this goal all starts with TJ Malone. Obviously being a threat, Torton, watchless as of now, catches that ball from Morin and takes a step in. That draws the Ohio State defender towards him, throws it, and obviously Matt Costin puts it in the back of the net. But that goal does not start without TJ Malone putting pressure on the Ohio State defense. Meyer coming from York College, another transfer on that list, um, and a guy that has an absolute shot a cannon uh, for this Buckeye team that's going to be important. There's a lot of guys with high velo off the stick. Not shooting very well so far on this possession. Still with it, 10 to go. McKenna muscled away. It's a turnover. And here comes Penn State. Hawes in transition. Grant Hawes going right to goal and scoring. Coast to coast. Penn State up three. It was all graduate captain Hawes on this. Picking up the loose ground ball from McKenna, bringing it all the way down. Playing the fast break play as the Nittany Lions do so well. You know, potentially going to throw it, doesn't, and then stings it on that right pipe. And that's all Hawes, number 16, captain for Penn State. And things starting to unravel for Ohio State. Trainer from a tough angle. Sends it home. That was wicked. That was a nice shot there by Matt Trainer. Not even an inch of angle there, but puts it in the back of the net. Um, and his sticks goes in. And going back to the fundamental piece of what Coach Tambroni preaches uh, for the Nittany Lions, obviously Matt Trainer catching it with only a couple steps left above GLE and puts it in the top right corner. There it is. Penn State up four with two minutes left here in Columbus. Twenty-seven goals now, and training with a hat trick. You can see the explosiveness of this offense. It, it's come on so strong, Mitchell. Ohio State answers. They need them quick. That one from Caputo. Caputo, a guy that Ohio State goes to a bunch in situations like this. We had a situation last season we went to him in the Michigan game, obviously going back to him here. Uh, but a guy that's right around the 10-yard line above the crease, yeah. catches it, fires it low, and that puts Ohio State within three. Way towards the crease. And Penn State scoops up, tosses long down the field, and that's going to do it. A come-from-behind win for Penn State on the road to start Big Ten play, and they take it 12-9. All Penn State in the 